Um, the configuration of server Google Analytics 4 uh, starts inside your uh, WebGTM container and basically all work uh, that should be done, I would say like 80% of the work that should be done when configuring server GA4 uh, is inside the WebGTM container. Um, let me show you how to configure uh, server side GA4 from scratch. So I don't have anything inside my web Google Tag Manager. So let's begin. The first step would be to configure a Google tag. Uh, log into your WebGTM container and add Google tag here. Uh, tag ID. I already have a variable that uh, that contains my uh, yeah. Google Analytics uh, 4 um, ID. Then open your uh, configuration settings uh, and we need to add a parameter that will uh, tell uh, Google Analytics to send data to the server container. So what you need to type here is a server container URL and then uh, the value of your uh, tagging server URL, basically the one that we created uh, uh, in our previous videos and uh, in my case I'm using same origin domain so let me um, add it here as a variable. Then just select a trigger. Uh, I want to trigger Google Tag on all pages and click Save. So this uh, configuration will allow me to track page views. Uh, but uh, I have an e-commerce store and I want to track also e-commerce events. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, I will create a new trigger, uh, a new tag. Uh, then I need to select a Google Analytics for event type tag. Uh, then add here a measurement ID. I will add my Google Analytics for ID that I have as a constant. Uh, then uh, I would need to add event name. Uh, since I want to add uh, uh, one tag for all my e-commerce events, uh, I will add a dynamic uh, parameter that will capture the event name. So what I need to do is just type event here. Uh, then go to uh, the triggers and here we need to select a trigger. Um, this is a WordPress uh, store that is uh, uh, using a Stape app. Uh, our app allows to push data layer events uh, into basically WebGTM data layer. So I already pre-configured pre my trigger. Let me show you how it looks. Um, so it uh, will uh, uh, allow the tag to trigger on all events, uh, on all uh, data layer uh, events that contain Stape. So let me click save. And uh, I will show you how to enable uh, data layer pushes inside the uh, state uh, app for WordPress. Uh, click the second tab and ensure that all the checkboxes are enabled. Uh, you see here uh, the last uh, checkbox is also enabled and it means that it will add parameter state uh, to all event names in the data layer. So uh, it means that the trigger that we've recently created will, uh, will work basically because the configuration of the trigger says that uh, you should trigger uh, e-commerce uh, tag uh, every time when uh, data layer event contains tape. Uh, just ensure you click save changes. Okay, so we have did a, a setup inside the WebGTM container. Now let's move to setting up uh, Google Analytics 4 inside the SGTM. Uh, first go to clients and ensure that uh, Google Analytics client is uh, set up. Uh, normally it is configured by default, but in case the, you are, there is no GA4 client, just uh, create it. So you need to click a new client, uh, then click GA4 
add client name and that's it. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is create a tag. I will add my G4 tag name, then select uh, tag type G4. Again, you should add here G4 ID. Uh, then we will skip all other settings and uh, add a trigger. Uh, so this uh, tag inside the SGTM container should trigger every time when we receive a request uh, of uh, Google Analytics 4 from WebGTM. Uh, this uh, tag should uh, trigger every time when we receive a request from the WebGTM container by sent by Google Analytics 4. So you should create a new trigger with the type custom and then uh, select here some events and uh, then um, I will need to enable a, some built-in variables. So I've enabled client name uh, and it should equal GA4. Save. That's it. So the configuration of uh, server Google Analytics 4 is done inside the web and server GTM. Uh, since uh, the container that I'm using both web and server one are new, uh, before proceeding with debugging, I want to publish these containers because uh, one of the most common issues when your setup does not work is when you did not publish a new a recently created container. So uh, let me publish changes. Okay, web one is done and server one is done. Now let's open debuggers of uh, web and server GTM. I will need to add my URL. So this is my web GTM debugger, this is my website, I will close this one, and this is my server GTM container. Uh, let me click through the website and uh, see if I get any request inside the SGTM. Uh, so as you can see, this is my web GTM container and I did a few page views. I also clicked at it to cart and uh, to verify that uh, state of WordPress plugin sends uh, data layer events correctly, you can just uh, check e-commerce events. So uh, you see here add to cart state was triggered correctly and uh, this is the uh, data layer that it that was pushed on this event. So view cart as well, it was triggered. And let's see the summary. Yeah, you see that uh, on the view cart event, a G4 e-commerce tag triggered. On the add to cart event, again, G4 e-commerce tag triggered. Then on uh, like page view events, we have a Google tag. Let's go to the server GTM container. So inside the server GTM container, everything looks correct as well. Uh, you can see here, um, like uh, an event that uh, Google Analytics 4 uh, sends automatically is a user engagement. There are also page view events, all, and we have e-commerce events, uh, which are add to cart tape and view cart tape. Uh, if you click uh, event data, you should see also uh, parameters that were sent in the request. If you have some issues, uh, uh, for example, you do not receive uh, um, events, uh, you do not receive any request inside the SGTM container, what you can do is open your website and go to console 
again click network and try to search requests of your Google Analytics. Again, add just uh, the numbers without uh, G in the beginning. So uh, you can see that uh, in my case, since SGTM worked correctly and the GA4 requests were sent as well, uh, the status of uh, GA4 requests is 200. It means that all worked correctly. And you can see here GA4 name. Yeah, um, perfect. Um, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.